Good afternoon everyone. Again, I'm sorry for not wearing any makeup in these this video. I know my previous two videos I haven't worn makeup either, but the rash on my neck is still there. It is still, you know, bright red and itchy. But also because I've had exams this week, I'm too tired to put makeup on. I can't be bothered. And also I washed all my brushes and I don't want to make them dirty because that means I'll have to wash them again. This is my empties video. My bin's really overflowing. There's some food items in here. There's body care, skincare, other stuff. So, yeah, I thought I'd film this video just before it gets a bit too dark. So, let's jump into it. The first one is this one litre Imperial Leather Shower Gel. It's the number 42 Rock Pool Indian Lotus and Water Lily. This was a very dark blue colour when it was full. You could have sworn it was black, but it was actually blue. The pump's very nice. It was one litre. This has lasted us over a year because we only put out one pump and we have other shower gels and things we use. It smelled nice. It was very refreshing. Um, I would buy it again, definitely. It worked very well. And like all shower gels, and yeah, like all shower gels, it is pH balanced. Yes, I am a naughty person. I have two packets of the Maltese dark chocolate ones. These were probably maybe almost a month apart I had these, by the way. And they last me for like a week because they're dark, even though they're dark chocolate, they still contain milk. So two or three is enough for me at a time, but I have two packets of dark chocolate ones. Obviously, as I bought two packets, I like them. And I like the normal ones too, but to me, the dark chocolate ones are better. I have my smaller bottle of Batiste. This is empty. This is the Sassy and Mamba scent. Reminds me of the soap I have at work. So I don't like the scent of it. But this was okay. I still just prefer my VO5 one so much better. I have a roll of the Kmart Beauty Wipes. These ones are... The package broke. I have a 600ml Diet Coke bottle. I don't even know why this is in here. I think I may have actually chucked this in this bin instead of my normal garbage bin, but I have a 600ml Diet Coke. I don't drink normal Coke. It tastes really weird. I have the box of a huge tube of my Colgate Optic White Express toothpaste. This tube, the tube that was in here is actually almost empty. I've got maybe two or three days to use left in it, but I chucked the box in here for some reason. A packet of my Kmart $2 wipes. I obviously repurchase these all the time. Although I have been getting into using the micellar water again just because of the mascara that I opened. It's the it's the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara and it's a non-waterproof formula but it just doesn't smudge or anything so I don't need to wear a waterproof over the top. So I have no need to use an eye makeup remover then a face one. Because although, yes, people say that the, it says that the, the micellar waters, all of them remove all types of mascara. I find the normal eye makeup removers break down mascara a lot better. But yeah, these are good. They're good to remove, you know, swatches. They're good to even just use. They do have normal antibacterial wipes as well, not just facial ones. So if you want them to put in your purse to wipe your hands with, they have those as well. One of the bottles of my Dove tanning lotion, I've decided to kind of stop tanning. I've got one more bottle of the dark one and a probably I'd say two thirds of the light one left. Um, I'm just too lazy to use it, mainly. But yeah, I do like it. I have an Avon vanilla and soy milk shower gel. I said I got heaps of these. I keep forgetting to use them, but I still have a heap more and I have so many of them and they smell amazing. As you can see, this is empty because I rolled it up completely. It's that red toothpaste I use. Obviously, I've gone through maybe six or seven tubes. So these are the only skincare items and the rest is all makeup. I have a box of the Aldi cotton tips. These are my favourite ones. Um, Swispers are alright. The Coles brand ones are too scratchy in my opinion. Those ones are perfect. I love them. And they're like 89 cents for a box of 240 of them. So they're really good. Now the rest of the items in here are makeup, so I'm just going to get them out. I don't even know why I was keeping the two Maybelline BB creams. I have medium and also light. 
Medium for some reason matches me more when I'm not tanned even though they're both too dark. Light is very pink even though the tube is yellow. It's, it goes very orange and pink. And I don't even know why. I kept these for over a year. I don't even know why because there's maybe half a use left in both. And they're just too old. So I don't even know why I kept them because they're practically empty. But yeah, I did like them. But now that I'm cruelty free, I'm not repurchasing them. So yeah, the colour didn't match me that well anyway. I completely used up a Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer. It looks like there's still stuff in here, but I was literally scraping it around. There's maybe maybe a couple of uses left in it, but I have so many more concealers, it didn't matter. And this one had been opened for nearly a year anyway, so it's time to you throw that out. Oh, sorry, I do have a Maybelline makeup remover in here. This is my favourite eye makeup remover that I've tried. It's really gentle. The bottle's really good that you can actually squeeze it. Oopsies, I just put it everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is really good at removing makeup. Okay, so the next few things. There's this gambling help, online gambling lip balm thing I got at my crossroads for year 11 thing. But I've had to scrape it out. It's empty. It was a good lip balm. But you can't buy these, you just get them given to you for free. I've decided to throw out the CoverGirl Clean Concealer I've got that's in medium because, yeah. When I'm extremely fake tan, this is the colour that I would use underneath my eyes. But to be quite honest, I have had this open. This was the first concealer I bought. I bought this in light and medium. And it was the first concealer I ever bought. So that's how long it's been opened. There's still product in here. It still works. I still, I prefer this older formula over the new one. I do know that they, um, see it's really orange, so I don't, I don't use that now. But, um, I do prefer the older formula. The new formula, like, stings my eyes. But I've got, like, four bottles of it, so, four tubes, so I can't throw it out. But this one's going out because it's been open way too long and it doesn't match me. I used up a CoverGirl Lush Blast Volume Mascara. This one was in black brown, I believe. Yes. Stupid me. Keeps buying it in black brown. Not, not black, but oh well, it still works. This is my one of my favourite mascaras, although I'm no longer repurchasing it because CoverGirl tests on animals. And I decided to throw out my Bow Professional like highlighting pen thing. It's like the YSL one but it's just so old I've had it open for so long it's dried up there's maybe about half of the amount of product in here but it comes out it just it's just old so it's not working the same anymore okay so I threw I'm throwing out this lol lots of love press powder there's a tiny tiny bit left in there but I just I just can't get it out um this is in very light and it's all right because this is only two dollars so I don't care throwing it out is fine another lip balm is this Nivea Fruity Shine in Strawberry. There's still a little bit in here, but I've got other lip balms I prefer. And Nivea tests on animals, and also they're just not a very good brand. And my Maybelline Baby Lips. This lip balm is probably, honestly, four years old. This is a Baby Lips colour. Don't even like it that much. It smells kind of weird now. Not kind of weird, but the scent of it anyway. This is the pink Lolita one. It was good when I bought it. I mainly just bought it to get into the baby lips craze, but I never really liked them that much anyway. So this is going out because I just don't use it. And I used up my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Actually, there's still some in here. I just kind of got sick of it and wanted to open a new one. But yeah, this little sample's only $16, so when Mecca Maxima opens at Charlestown, I'm going to go buy more of these. But yeah, it was a nice mascara. I liked it. And the last thing is my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I'm very sad. This is probably, I'd say, just over half used. And I've had to throw it out. It's just dried up so much. I can't use it that much. It doesn't glide on very well. It's very chunky. goes And it just, yeah, it's just gone. It's just dried up. If you're someone who wears eyeliner on a pretty much daily basis... This gel eyeliner would be good, but it also transfers like hell on me. 
When I first bought it, it was fine, but it seems as it keeps getting drier and drier for some reason, it transfers so much more up here. And it even, like, when it starts flaking off on my lash line, it even takes the eyeshadow off with it. It's really weird. I don't like it. I will not be repurchasing it. Also because, um, Maybelline tests on animals, but I have my liquid eyeliner now that I use, which is the designer brand's Absolute Liquid Eyeliner. And if I wanted a gel eyeliner, I will just go buy the e.l.f. one because I've got the brown one and I really like it, so... Or the Essence one or something, one that's a cruelty-free one. I mainly bought this just because of Jacqueline Hill's recommendation. I loved it for ages, but when it started to dry out, it just went downhill from there. So, I don't like this anymore. And yeah, that bin's empty. It doesn't actually look like a lot, but there was a couple of quite big bottles in there, so that's probably why. Um, so yeah, my video done. That's like the weirdest thing I've ever said. <laughs> so yeah, that was my empties. I'm not even going to really say for the month of July or August because it's roughly every six to eight weeks this bin gets full. Depends on what I use or what I throw out. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.